What is up, fellow YouTube and gamers? It's your boy Data Rip One, and as you can see by the title of this video, I am introducing drum roll. Please. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. A brand new series called Should He Stay or Does He Blow? A series where I give league members as well as fans of the league an opportunity to ride alongside your boy as I scour the edges of the OWC Earth looking for the next big recruit for the league. Now when I decide whether I'm going to try and recruit this person or not, I look for three deciding factors. Three main points as to whether I will try to recruit this person or let them rot in the simmering cesspit of spammers and lag switching douche tits that the OWC mode has become. These three deciding factors are as follows. Number one, of course, is he a spammer? If the answer to this question is yes, it's automatic eat a herpes infested donkey testicle no. Number two, was he exciting to fight and does he have potential to be a top up and comer in the league? Number three, is he mature? Now I know there's a lot of facets that go into whether a person is mature or not, but basically what I'm saying is, is he a good sport? Can he handle taking an L without making excuses and causing a bunch of problems and basically tucking his tail and running like a bitch at the first sign of adversity? And will he be able to get along with other league members? Now with all this being said, I bring you my first opponent. I'm going to go ahead and keep my comments and opinions to this guy to myself until after this video has been posted. And I see some of your comments and opinions and attempt not to sway anyone in one way or another. I hope you guys enjoy this fight, as well as the new series. I feel it brings a cool way to bring more interest into the league and make people not make people that aren't even involved in the league hopefully get more enjoyment and excitement out of it as they will get a chance to pick who they want to see. And, um, yeah. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to the whole Fight Night community, as well as Fight Night's finest on uh, getting his new partnership you deserve it bro um, every single subscriber you got you earn with great content and great commentary and uh, yeah as always have a great night this is your boy Data Rip One signing off peace right on the mark with the hook up top good solid shots with the combo downstairs you can see he's trying to hey, score up hey, top, on, but off the mark there. Come on now. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Looking good, looking good. Here we go. Round two is underway. Brooks is doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. Good block there by Brooks. Nice strike after catching one by Brooks. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Blood. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Sending shots to the midsection. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Able to get rid of that one. Blood's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. <laughs> Left hook's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Good block by left hook. Lands the counter. 
basic boxing, and it works so well. Put your punches together, a good combo by left hook. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Good defense, just covering up down low. Go out there, get him. Go out and fight this guy. You understand what I'm saying? And round number three is underway. Able to cover up that gut. Watch the hook. Blood showing Watch you hook. that Come sublime on. skill right now with that two punch combo. That's okay. Not That's an accurate right. hook at back. all. Go pay him back. Hook. Hook. He wide open for the hook. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by blood. Good combination to the body. Brooks has been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it. And then he's letting the punches go, letting their hands follow. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Work the body. Work that body. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Brooks. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. That is boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Brooks. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Brooks. Targeting that head with the combination punching. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Nice and relaxed. Good. Good. This is what I need you to do. Keep shooting a jab to his team. So with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. Left hooks in control of this fight. Teddy, he's earned every round. Uh, he has. If you talk about ring generalship, you'd have to salute him. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by left hook. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Good two-punch combo by Brooks. Combo, combo! That's a good left hand by Blood. Good uppercut by Blood! Comes across with a hook up top. Scored well up top. Unable to connect by Brooks. Look at that combination by blood. 90 seconds to go in round number four. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Brooks. Precision work with the left hand by Blood. One, two. One, two. That's it. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Up top with the right hand. Brooks is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Keep your head moving. Keep your head moving. Blood's wanting the counter punch here, but that doesn't seem the punch route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that, but you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring, especially, you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day, people are going to say, oh, that guy fought kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now.
Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. Relax. Come on now. Relax. Deep breathe. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Brooks. He missed with that headshot. Combination to the head. Keep that head moving. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. He's working the body. Blood's combination punching is working well here. Fires right back at him. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Cleansing, Blood cleansing. dazed after that punch. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now. Look at that. Blood's gone down. How will he recover from this? Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Good smooth work by left hook. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back. Gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Blood's now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the umbrella and say, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up the punch. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. So the bell to end that round gets him out of danger. But, Teddy, my concern is what is he even going to look like when the next round starts? Well, that's the thing. The corner's going to have to take care of that, get some ice on him. And also, they're going to have to think, do they want him to go back out? He just missed that shot up top. Left hook's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both. That's a huge left he just scored with. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Come on, One, man, get up to your feet. Two, three, four. Get up, five. get up, get up, come on, get up. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Fires off that hook. Brooks has been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance yeah! of getting to that elusive target. Left hooks putting forth that hard, big shot. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Get up, damn it. Come on, now. Two, three, four. Stand five, up. Stand, stand, stand. Six, seven, eight. Stand up, nine, stand up. Focus. It's over. This fight is over. Blood's night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count.
knockouts. Your winner, Rick Brooks. Left hooks, fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is, yeah, you got to win, but you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.